Welcome back to Midtown Atlanta. This is Matt. I'm here with Max. We're live at the William Street Veterans Memorial Coliseum, Soldiers and Sailors Arena. Last week, we did a great tramp stamp them up. Gideon versus uh, the sweet meat. Sweet meat. I was going to call him the white meat, but. Where does, that, where does that put us in the brackets? Well, we're missing one of the preliminary rounds in order to find out who's going into the. I, I don't know if it's called semi because then you have to do. Right. Two, two. I think it's like quasi finals. Branches of a tree. Let's Activate look. the fighter, one. Yeah, fighter selection. Yeah. Module. Oh, Knuckles. A lot of people have been looking forward to him in chat. He's been talking about his appearance on this show. Finally, he gets to come on. Oh, was, oh I thought it was going to be foot again. Oh, look, it's Kermit coming up. The computer prevents us from selecting the same fighter twice. Two Ks playing up together today in a Kermit for Knuckle match. Let's open up the phones, Max. More excitingly, the poll. How does that work? Well... As soon as I click go live here on our intranet, our interior intranet, um, I don't know, Dave, do you know much about, is Dave here? Where's Dave? Intranet is kind of like the inner workings of a website. Yeah. And uh, I have, a, I've clicked go live, so if they go to adultswim.com slash DFL slash poll, they can go activate it. But it's actually, it's made with kind of like a template, because we were doing it with other ways. I was actually using an outside surface, but now I worked with my friend Justin, works in the building. We set up like a template where I can switch the images and he resets the database every week and people can go and click live on these pictures of the guy's heads as you see him right here. That's what I thought. And uh, well, an internet system is exciting all the time. And this is like a custom built platform the guys at adultswim.com are making. Also, there's a phone number, 708-794-6386. You can call in and tell us who you think is going to win uh, or email us daytimefighting at gmail.com as you'll see. The Soldiers and Sailors Arena is vast, and we have plenty of seating. Uh, the, today's match is just about full. People are screaming in chat about Knuckles right now. All caps. Knuckles. Knuckles, where have you been? Knuckles. So, is it? do you think it's good or bad to be the last in the preliminary rounds, to kind of see who you might be going against? So this is it. This is the last of the preliminary rounds. This is the last of the very first round of daytime fighting. Yeah, and then we're going on to the quasi-finals. I think it's terrifying because they've been watching the show. They've seen the brutality. Like, look what happened with Meg has issues. Mm -hmm. uh, blood all over the ring. Look at the booch. The booch laid an early smackdown on Jaguar Durango, humiliating. And then Gideon, who was himself humiliated a little bit last week with ink on his face, uh, turned it around pretty quickly on Sweet Meat. Uh, it's a rough place. I think a lot of these fighters are going to be uh, increasingly anxious as well, we this, progress towards the Weasel Cup. This winner knows, whoever it is, and it's two men, knows they're going to be going against foot, which is a pretty uh, tall order. To put it lightly, that's yeah. a big guy to be going in against in your next fight. Now, I also think that people are looking back towards previous fights. They're going to look at Blasian Twin One, who's still very much active. Are they going to have to face one of the maybe toughest competitors? How about Hero 121? Here are some guys who've been in the past brutally violent, uh, insane competitors. Yeah, it's not. It's not all going to be octoball, Max. That's I, true. Some I, of it will I've be seen, other fights. You've seen the grid with the fighter selection and the match selector, which we'll do in a second. There are a lot of fights out there that are question marks, but they look violent and they look rough. And uh, when I think about the best competitors we've seen so far, I do think about Booch, I do think about Megan Has Issues, and I do think about Megan Has Issues. I mean, uh, Megan, Blasian Twin 1. I was gonna say Megan Twin 1. That'd be weird if she had a twin too. We should do a twin season let's where not everyone's forget, twins. Let's not forget about Kebab. Oh God. Kebab was small and wiry, but uh, as the great Joel Hodgson once said, he can crawl you. It's kind of the Riley Reed of our group. Who's Riley Reed? She's a porn star. Oh, okay. Well, let's go look. Uh, hold on. Getting an email here. Oh, you're right. Everyone's excited about Knuckles. You got an email about it. Uh, yeah, I got, I've got. Uh, uh, if you want to email us, daytimefighting at gmail.com. Here's what's weird, Max. An eerie calm has come over the arena. Like the calm before the storm. What's another metaphor for that? Oh, kind of the nap before 
an all-nighter. It's the nap before an all-nighter. Uh, maybe it's the, uh, the flare that's about to bloom. Let's take a look inside the arena. Maybe you'll see what I'm talking about. And here we are selecting today's match. It could be any of these. The, the watching weasel will help determine what kind of fight we're going to see today. And then Josh will quietly explain it for us. Does Josh speak? I don't know. I haven't heard him speak. Looks like it's a wax on, wax off match. Wow, cool. You can only imagine what that means. Mer I can't Mystery. understand it. Is it a mystery? Murder One will be here in a moment to uh, break things down for us. Fighters are getting ready. Knuckles on the left, Kermit on the right. That's right. Kermit with a Legend of Zelda tattoo. For a lot of those in the gaming community, they know that is a video game about childish excitement. Knuckles with that real great, you know, that very... They both have very different chest hair. It would be very exciting to see how all their body hair reacts to this wax. Max, uh, I think they're about to have their wax strips applied. Let's learn about the fighters. I was selling some CDs on the corner of this little white neighborhood, and um, I met this really cute girl. Um, her name was Jan, and I actually, I took her for a ride in my car because they didn't know her daddy was the leader of the Cool Klux Klan. And it got really awkward. Uh, we went back to her house and things started happening. Her dad showed up. And I tried to hide and like run out the window, but he pretty much beat my ass, so. But I, I'm not, you know, I'd like to do it again. Kermit's got some fire in him. Let's see how he holds up against his uh, horrifying wax strips. Have you ever been waxed, Max? No, but with that much hair, I mean, Knuckles is lucky to not be as hairy. I'm very obsessed with hair and with, um, just about hair on all different types. Everyone has different. Chris Rock has a great documentary about it. Yeah, good hair. Very visceral match we have ahead of us. The wax off. How many strips are being applied? It's hard to say. Well, a pack of Veets comes with about 16 strips. So it could be up to up to eight each, depending on the budget of the show, which is very small. Those are like little pancakes with raisins on them. I was actually going to say it looked like the eye of an angry cow. Legs too, Max. It's not just the chest. That's true. It's lots of areas of the body. You got to warm them up first. Sometimes I'll make like a bowl of cereal or oatmeal or something. And if I spill it or it gets knocked over, I get really upset because, you know, you make something and you're really intent on eating it. And you're like, oh man, it's gonna be so good. And then it's just gone, like all the effort for nothing. So if somebody uh, knocked over my, my cereal bowl, I'd be upset. Let's go down to Murder One, who's gonna set things up for us. Oh, right away. Wax Off, a DFL fan favorite, makes its return tonight. It's one of the most painful ones going today in the DFL. The advice, strategically, you need to know ahead of time what you're doing and shave all the way down. You need to be baby smooth for this one because you don't want to get caught slipping. A eyebrow, chest hair, underarm hair, it can all come out. My advice, stay moving and stay smooth. Back to you. Thank you, Murder One. Good advice on this fan favorite match. Actually, I, ha off. I have to disagree. I think it's important to have thick hair. That'll hold the wax strips in place. Harder to pull off. Really? But that's easy for me to say up here in the booth. I remember when you were a vice principal and you lost that dare and you had to wax your eyebrows all, all the way off. Yeah. At least I held up on my end of the promise. That's true. I chickened out and ran away from the town. Our first fighter of the day introducing himself to the community. It's Knuckles. What a hottie. Our second fighter to wear a headband. And it looks like he's just wearing underwear. Is he 
going to fight in his underwear and elbow pads? I don't understand the elbow pads. Here comes Kermit. Well, fighters are all allowed to bring their own defense mechanisms. Knuckles clearly in better physical shape. Kermit might be a little bit thicker, denser, and harder to roll around. No, checking out where they both have backs that are, are, there's nothing wrong with their backs. We've checked. Either way, at the end of the day, these strips have to be pulled off. Let's look at the stats. Right here, we've got 25 years old of age for Knuckles. He's about a buck 15 of cancer. Kermit uh, coming in with his own stats. He's 21, a little younger, but uh, about 40,000. 40,000 pounds heavier? Is that what you're about to say? I was going to say 40, and then 1,000 <laughs> came out. Hey, sometimes so, weight is a big factor in this. So these strips are coming off no matter what. Either they're going to get pulled off by the opponent, but they don't just come off. It's a one-way street with a wax-on, wax-off fight. Yeah, I would say that. I would probably agree. Now, let's talk about your body hair. Does it look more like Knuckles's or more like Kermit's? I would you say? can't Somewhere in the tell. Middle? I can't tell. Let's I really can't tell. Let's take your shirt off. Let's have a look. Oh, I see. Yeah, more like Knuckles. Yeah, you have really long, so it starts here at the top and it goes all the way down. Do you comb it down? In French, they call... Um, uh, cotton candy, they call it barba papa, which means papa's beard. It does look like brown cotton candy. That's right, Max. You have brown cotton candy chest hair. Thank you. You'd be a true competitor in this fight. The lines are open. Please call in with your opinions. Let me look at this poll. Um, wow. It, it, look looks at that. Like, it looks like a little bit of favoring for Knuckles. It looks like people are favoring Kermit just a wee bit. What is it about Knuckles that makes him the favorite in this fight? Is it his strength? It is. Inherent cockiness, he seems to have a, a way about him. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of Fish Center Live. It's a show he used to call in all the time uh, since the beginning, but then he stopped because he was too busy playing Pokemon and smoking weed. Oh, so this may be his new job. Yep. This competitor ship. Be interesting to see how he does. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do if he takes it all the way to the top and claims the Weasel Cup. Maybe he can sell it on eBay. Hmm, that is a good idea. I wonder if I think it was probably bought on eBay in the first place. We're live here, Daytime Fighting League at the William Street Veterans Memorial Coliseum Soldiers and Sailors Arena here in Midtown Atlanta. When you're coming to town, come by and see us. Tickets are available, daytimefighting at gmail.com. Well, hey, you're on the line. We're looking at a wax on, wax off between uh, Knuckles and Kermit. Any thoughts? Um, I think I'd put my money down on Knuckles. And is there a reason for that? Because it seems like a lot of people like him in the chat. Yeah, he's a, he's a real people person. As, as far as I've seen th throughout the match, he has a story that I can relate to, and I think that really ha he has that going for him going into the match. What do you relate to about it? Uh, me and him, we come from the same place. And, I, and I've, I've heard of his story when I, when I started growing up there after he moved out. And is it, do you think it's like, Clearly, from what we've seen, Knuckles looks a lot more physically fit, or at least, you know, a less uh, less body fat that doesn't necessarily mean more physically fit. But do you think that's going to play a factor? Is that why you're going for him? No, I, I'm still going for him because while he's not super physically fit or bigger, he's, he still has the small size and the speed to work his way around his opponent and beat them down strategically throughout the match. Do you think in the wax on wax off it's going to come down to deftly maneuvering and grabbing the wax? That's something that's what I'm hearing from you. Yeah, that's what I'm that's my theory and that's what I'm going with. All righty. Uh, how much money do you have on this? I have about $500 on this match. I'm really confident in Knuckles and his and his skills. And those American dollars? Those are American US dollars. Well, I hope Knuckles is feeling your uh, vote of confidence, because if you were wrong, you were out of $500. That's right. All righty. Thank you for calling. Have a good day. Of yeah. course. I think Priscilla's getting itchy down there in the arena. Oh, I think you're going to say something else. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Please rise for our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light 
What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket spread glare. The bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free? Contestant to rip off all of his opponent's wax strip will be the winner. Wax on, wax off, match has begun. Classic fan favorite. You've got to get in there and rip them off. It's a bout of nimbleness, yet also strength. A little bit of terror in every move. Look at oh, that. Kermit grabbing brutal. one right away. But it looks like Nux also got one as well. Kermit drawing right. first Each hair. one has taken off one. He's physically imposing. He's backing Knuckles into the corner. If you're getting confused as to what's happening, you can always check the corners to see the amount of white strips, wax strips. I do hope those boxers stay intact. Both sides, the waistband looks a little loose. Worn elastic. Well, the good thing is they're both wearing dancer's belts underneath. Oh, another rippy. Oh. Jeez, is that two more off Knuckles? That hurts. That hurts, Knuckles. Kermit's got to go town. Oh, oh, chest strip. He's laughing, but I know it hurts. Yeah. What can I do with those strips, Max? I think if you put them together, you can make a thing. Oh, oh a double tear. That was like a double tear at once. Look at that again. Oh, both grabbing it. I don't. He ripped his. Ugh. How many do they have each now? They're the legs. The legs are still in play, and those backs oh. are still intact. Another one. One left. Kermit. Kermit, you freak. Knuckles has only one left. Kermit oh. has four left. Three left. Three left. Four left. Four left. Thank Five you. Left. Five. Thank you. So Six. How many? Six. Okay. There it is. Good thing we have Priscilla down there. Giving order in the ring. Priscilla Precision. Oh, Oh, the back is... Oh, oh, there's a hair pull a going hair on. A hair pull? That's not a wax strip at all. No, but Knuckles is wearing uh, uh, a, some kind of thing when it does like a ponytail. Like an anime. He kind of looks like an anime guy. They're really in a scuffle down there on the ground. Kermit is just getting him down there and ripping those off. Oh. It doesn't matter. As long as it's stuck to you, it's still viable, Max. He's got it on his hand. He's got it on his butt. Check. Turn around. Oh, he's got uh, a little tail. Let me see you. Turn around. Uh, there's still a piece of that one left. Really so. feeling the pain here. He's still, still got a dangler on him. If it wasn't for that dangler, he'd be out. Yeah. Kermit's got one on his right leg. Knuckles with the dangler. Priscilla just slipped. She's got one on her leg, I think, somehow. Where is it? Is it? Did it come off? It came off. Is it off? Oh, and it fell right. off. It's off. What an interesting stance. And your winner is... That oh. I'm sorry. Winner. Kermit knocking out Knuckles in a brutal match. Let's look at it again. Here's the move. Here's the finishing move. Oh, that's on the back of his leg. Oh, oh she wow. I can feel it up here in the booth. There it is from the back of that leg. It's not going for wax there. I don't know what's happening. Congratulations on winning. Thank you. What did you like to play with as a kid? Did you play with trucks? Sometimes, yeah. Uh, did you play with Legos? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, did you play with like Technics? No. Um, did, did you play with uh, army men? Oh yeah, definitely. Set them up in the room, play with them. Oh yeah. Are your parents still together? Uh, no. If you want to talk about that and what you did, did it? Oh, they're both deceased. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Did, um, what was the best toy 
your parents got you? Paintball gun. Pain poke on? Paintball gun. Playing Pokemon? Paintball gun. Paintball uh, gun. Paintball gun. Did you play with um, p Pogs? No, I don't know. Don't know what that is. Sorry, tired. It's okay. What was your favorite part of the match? Uh, having them all intact and not ripped off of me. I like that a lot. Real cool stuff. Thank you for playing, and you're going to be in the next round, and I can't wait to see if you're going to win that one. All right, thanks, man. You're, you're the crowd favorite. Hey. Where's the exit off this freaking thing? <laughs> you just hop down. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Way to go, Kermit, the crowd favorite, taking out Knuckles in the dramatic wax on, wax off match. Everyone glad to see Knuckles go. Yeah, it turns out even though they're excited to see him, they're even more excited to see him leave. They're saying, what a pansy-ass Shrek impersonator. I don't know why they're saying that. And he moves on. Shrek 3D. Moves on, joining prestigious fighters from previous matches. And the quasi-finals leading towards the Is Weasel it quasi Cup. or well, That's the whole thing. Is that okay? so Semi, messy. One, and then that's a final. And there's two there on either side. That's the semifinals, and then right. there's the finals. The one before right. the semifinals, I've been saying quasi. Get out of here and stay out of this, please. Thanks for joining us on Daytime Fighting League. We'll be back next week. The first quasi-final. Heats up next week.